greeting everyone i'm santosh uh, head of spider a uh, software so we'll be briefing you about our induction process yeah and also before getting into induction process we should discuss about spider in general it's hard to cover uh, and discuss everything about spider within an hour right? so we'll try our best to uh, give you a brief idea about what uh, each domain does hi everyone uh, this is Pra this is pranav uh, president of spider and uh, really excited to you know um, have this uh, session lined up for you people uh, I mean, when I was on campus, a lot of you kept asking me about uh, when does spider's induction start, when does it start, and I'm glad to tell you all that uh, the answer is finally here. Uh, and yeah, a warm, warm evening, uh, and yeah, good evening and a warm welcome to everyone. Yeah, thank you. Uh, let's get started. So who are we exactly? Uh, so we are the official research and development club of NID Trichy. Uh, we are, I mean, and we are like the only unique club which has, which, which is, uh, which is in both software as well as hardware domains. We, and we end up working on, we, we want to really work on really cool next gen technology. So we believe that uh, there's no limit to technology. There's, uh, you, you got to be, we, we are someone who indulge in both physical as well as, you know, the software. So we believe in creating truly intelligent agents. And yeah, that's what we are all about. Uh, we don't restrict ourselves to any technology uh, in general, like application development or game development. We get into uh, diverse technology, both in software and hardware. We also involve in interdisciplinary activities and projects where we involve hardware, machine learning. Uh, into uh, technologies like applications, IoT projects. Yeah. Yeah. So, what are the perks of joining Spider? I mean, definitely you would ask like why Spider. Uh, yeah. So here we are, you know, just say like why Spider. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, firstly, as Santosh said, uh, the exposure to diverse technologies expanding your knowledge and skills in the sense like we are the only club here which uh, which 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 works on both software as well as hardware so which means that we have a wide range of technologies which we all work on so this is like the one club wherein like you can you can get to experience a lot of technologies in the sense like you can be in machine learning embedded and electronics blockchain cyber security web, web and app, app development devops ui ux so this is like uh, one place where you can explore a lot of things. And uh, that is like the biggest uh, USP of being in a club like Spider. In the sense like there were a lot of technologies which I didn't even know existed before I even joined the club. Yeah, so that is that is like the biggest perk of joining Spider. Moving on to the next one. Yeah, so apart from this, we have knowledge sharing sessions. It, we call it as KSS. So what a knowledge sharing session is, uh, it's basically these are sessions which are held inside of the club wherein we uh, exchange knowledge among our fellow members. The biggest advantage of being in a club is that you are you are a team. So in the sense like whatever you have to do individually is now done as a group. So these are uh, like, like for example, let's say if there, there is a senior, senior of yours who knows a particular algorithm. So he comes and he sits and you know explains everyone all at once so in the sense it makes your job a lot easier in terms of learning a lot of things when you're in the club over to santosh yeah uh, knowledge sharing sessions we call it cases it's exclusive to club members of them. so you can say we uh, we get resources everywhere everything is free on it but still a lot of things have a steeper learning curve uh, it will be very difficult if you want if you try to learn something or you need a proper nudge right? so that initial nudge will be given by cases so our seniors or our batch batchmates for example let's say one of my batchmates uh, might have 
expertise in devops or how docker works so he can uh, they used to come come up and take a session and uh, teach us how, how things work so this showcases okay, so. and also yeah. uh, uh, our seniors provided us guidance for internships and also we uh, have regular weekly uh, training sessions internship sessions from our uh, algos uh, club mates who used to teach us uh, concepts dsa concepts and other cs fundamentals and other stuff during uh, every week so we have sessions Yeah, and, and also and regarding for those of you like who are interested in masters and uh, research uh, in general uh, we have a huge number of seniors who always you know make it into scholarship programs such as mytax and dadwai scholarship so this is being in the club gets you a gets you an added advantage of having exclusive guidance from all of these right from the right from your second year wherein you you're guided as to how to create your profile so that you can actually ace internships like these so uh, it was like a really a huge bonus point for those whoever had uh, aspired to you know go for masters uh, these are, these kind of scholarship programs are something which uh, which makes you stand out among the crowd every time when you're applying for masters and it can pave a direct pathway into your masters admit yeah we yeah, are basically a picker spider this everywhere in the world so we have alumni in big companies and universities so we have a strong uh bond at alumni yeah so getting connected to a huge alumni network in the sense it's uh, i mean your life is beyond college at the, at one point of time this is just like four years over here but the bond which you form with your alumni is going to be there forever whether like we still get posted about new opportunities in various domains by our alumni uh, even now and uh, so i just believe that uh, this is like the greatest uh, advantage of you know being in, being a part of spider especially given the fact that uh, we have multiple domains of technology and we are the first we are the club which you know jumps in uh, jumps right in into any new technology so if if there's any exciting alumni startup in in any space we are the first ones to be reached out for you know opportunities so that is definitely one of the greatest uh, perk of joining spider and um, moving on uh here are, like you can see like where all our alumni are there whether it is academia or it's industry you they are everywhere and uh, i mean the, uh, this is just like a very small small set of you know companies where we have kept uh, there are a lot more than this but yeah uh they just can't fit into one slide and yeah that that's pretty much about it and yes and spider is not just about you know all about being nerdy or geeky uh we do go out on regular outings and trips and uh, we just believe that uh, all work and no play makes jack a dull boy so i just believe that uh, uh we we all believe that it's very important to be chill and it's all about you know uh team bonding at the end of the day it's about carrying me- memories of a lifetime so i'm pretty sure like if any of you are going to join spider it's not going to be all boring yes we are technical we we love technology but that's not the only aspect to life so we do, we do believe that we need to have a holistic approach to everything and yeah that's that so i would assure you that you will make some of the best memories of your life in spider so moving on to spider software uh, as i said earlier we not just work on applications like two sites and uh, like mobile applications such like that we also delve into other domains of software so we will check that out in the next one yeah uh, we have dedicated people who work on uh, algorithms and data structures which they use that to participate in competitive programming uh, and uh, you would have witnessed that we make uh, applications so so we need a proper devops team to deploy it and uh in this uh aid in the software life cycle and we also make applications we also made a uh, game developed uh, games which we actually pushed it to pregya uh, we also do research and play with blockchain and also we have dedicated people who work on 
security. Yeah. So in the inductions, you'll be having uh, five tracks from software. I'll brief you about every track in the performance. First, you'll be having Algos or Shubham Yeah. Hey, guys. Am I audible? Yeah. So, hey, guys. I am Subham, a core member of Spider. We are uh, Algos group. We focus more on competitive coding. Like, we give contests and uh, solve problems related to advanced data structure selling algorithms. We are the group who focus more on problem solving than just uh, making applications and uh, making circuits and all. So, like, we are uh, under a software domain of Spider, and we keep uh, uh, like monthly contests and weekly cases sessions to teach uh, our members like uh, new new algorithms, and uh, we uh, like participate in all the uh, uh, contests uh, regularly, and all the major coding platforms we used to give contests and uh, work more on our competitive programming and problem solving skills. And regarding the, uh, uh, the induction track of algos, we will be having mainly three tasks, uh, one contest and two PIs. And yeah, that's all about us, algos group. Over to you, Santos. You will be having app development track where you'll be using cross-platform technology. You'll be learning uh, from scratch. So primarily we will be focusing on Flutter, Flutter and uh, React Native. So uh, yeah, you'll be having resources to learn. You'll be getting resources to learn, and it will be uh, you, you, it will be a hassle-free learning for you. Yeah, as I said earlier, we'll be having uh, software life life cycle through the project, and this happens through the year. So we need people with DevOps expertise. So DevOps actually means uh, it means that we deploy. We cannot just build applications, right? It should be uh, given for use for other people. So uh, you can check out our. Uh, we'll be discussing about our project. So uh, every project required a proper dedicated DevOps team. So this track will help you out to learn. Uh, everything almost it will provide a proper foundation for every upcoming projects and ongoing projects and software uh, software yeah so in the last year we built around 15 uh, applications so everything uh, it's evident everything had a seamless uh, user experience and outstanding uh, user interface so we need we train people for those kind of applications during the induction so that uh, you can uh, get into the club and work on projects. And also, every uh, UA, UAX people who, who got, in, got uh, into the club from the induction will be indulged in other software pro projects as well. They're open to work on any project. Yeah, moving on, uh, we have the development uh, track. Yeah. Hi, hello. I am Bona. I'll be talking about the web development track. The web development track basically focus on the full stack development, which means we'll make the back end as well as front end for the web applications we make. So we actively engage in research as well. We we play with the new uh, like new technologies which are coming up, like new languages, new back end languages, new front end languages. We compare languages to pick our tech stack we do benchmarking so this all comes up in web dev track let's move on to the projects so projects in the la in last year spider has made around 15 to 17 projects which is under software domain most of them comprised of application development which is game development uh, uh, apps websites and stuff we'll look into some of our notable projects Okay, links. As I hope everybody would have heard the name links. Everybody should have a links app now as it's made mandatory by TC. Links is basically a 
cross platform mobile application which is you which is an official app for our college as well it has details about the fest that's come uh, happening in our college clubs and all the other stuff links can be used to get more details about the college it it is also helpful in uh, like mitigating spreading of rumors and fake news the text stack of links is flat uh, react native in the front end node and node js for the back end and mongodb as the database it's one of the biggest it's the biggest application of the campus it, it has a large scale high level design it involves a lot of uh, system design concepts and yeah we have uh, it's not a monolith anymore by those are jargons but still uh, it involves a lot of uh, dedication and design to come up with the architects of links and also it has an uptime of more than one year we had our anniversary recently for links uh, yeah and also it has more than 5000 to 7 around 7000 uh, users yes, active users links is one of the like longest running apps in our college like it's been running over more than over years and it will go on for a few more years for sure stay tuned for updates cool and yeah. updates. okay sports registration portal was an effort to reduce hours of queue into just seconds so we actually succeeded in this during the last semester uh, you should be familiar with this we uh, techno gym and swimming pool uh, they have registration right so people used to stand in queue uh, off like there in front of techno gym and used to register so we did this uh, portal and also like it's a high load intensive application we had to handle around 1,000 users simultaneously within uh, seconds. That's our challenge. And also, we did real-time slot streaming. So we actually experimented uh, a brand new tech stack. So you can see the RPC goal and XJS. Orientation app. Uh, I hope you all have used the orientation app, which caters the need for all the first years or like fresh people who are coming into the college. It gives a basic overview of like what will be happening in our campus and stuff, the events which will be coming up. And then we have the our college map as well to help you people navigate. So the tech stack is basically uh, React Native, Node and MongoDB. This also has will will have upcoming updates which are more cooler. Yeah, Washer was part of Byho cluster in Pregyan 2018. So again, we love experimenting and getting into a new text right? So we chose GraphQL. Uh, you'll get to learn about these things during your uh, induction process and. We also built the front end using Unity. So to have high performance backend, we chose code. Yeah, it was a, a our challenge was to push the game to a web browser. Right, that was the challenge. We had to compress and do a lot of geeky stuff. And finally, we we pushed it to production. Uh, this is the first time we uh, first uh, first iteration of this game. So we had this. Had this game during this period. We also have upcoming game development projects as well. Yeah. So we are ideating and uh, we have ongoing projects as well. So, Noken. Noken is part of uh, a hackathon which we recently participated in. So, our challenge is to identify dark uh, illegal sites on dark web so yeah it involves machine learning as well so we are in a prototype stage we uh, yeah it's, we have uh, designed everything to scale up the uh, project to identify every site in the dark web so it's an ongoing project as i said earlier we also collaborate with uh, uh, machine learning team as well 
yeah we are also uh, the official web ops team of various teams uh, in the college yeah sports council designers consortium we make uh, almost every site for sports fit uh, sports fit sports council website sports center website so and also for designers consortium we make the uh, landing page for sign crossnet and also orientation hello guys now about achievements like spider in spider we have the one of the best programmers coders like one of the best software uh, uh, like best software people and hardware people uh, from net eating so uh, uh, achievements are also like uh, one of the best from uh, in comparison to other clubs like for uh, if we see like in icpc our algos group like it has performed so well in icpc like this year three teams were selected for regionals from nitt for icpc regionals and all three teams were from spider algos itself so the uh, uh, and uh, like uh, one team like uh, it performed so well like it went uh, it is going for icpc world finals like uh, after 11 or 12 years like it is happening like any team is going for icpc world finals from nit trichy so yeah this they will be going uh, to egypt this year like november 2023 and uh, uh, and i like regionals and asia west also so many teams are going from our college like most of them are from spider algos only and like in uh, uh, so, uh, like uh, for his, uh, software achievements, like of uh, like that uh, this year, like one offline hackathon happened in that in NIT itself, like Transfinite. So in that our uh, like first position in software domain, like our from our club itself, like uh, we won, and like in hardware domain, uh, our team was runner up. And regarding what do you pronounce? Hello. Uh, uh, we now have Harshit uh, Harshit Agarwal, uh, who was the, who was the for, uh, former Algo's head of Spider, to share his experience with us. Yeah. Over to you, Harshit. Uh, yeah, folks. Uh, I hope I'm audible. So, uh, Spider is a great club and I think uh, there's a bunch of good things that have happened here past over the past few years. Um, in the first year when I was exploring programming, I met a few seniors and they talked about how great the club is. And then uh, back then, uh, the ML domain was just starting up in Spider. So, I started with ML and algorithms and got into both of them and there was there's a great support with seniors when you just join because you're just in second year and uh, you join, you don't know a lot of things, but you aspire to do a lot of things. So they'll take up and they, they'll take you up under a lot of projects. You will do them and understand and gradually you will grow and impart the same to your juniors. Um, the best thing about Spider is you get to do a lot of things. So uh, I could, I was actively working on a AI hackathons and then uh, started competitive programming, did well there. And then uh, I also collaborated with a few hardware teams and we also went on to win the Sangam Hardware Hackathon under defense. So you get to explore a lot of things. You can also do app dev, like uh, a senior who was two years older than me, he started with app dev and ended up becoming the Algo's head. He's Rajat Bhatta and he's, he's also in Google with me. Uh, so you get to experience a lot of things and especially uh, the fact that you can do your hires, you can do your placements with uh, great learning and you, you'll have basically good projects and a strong fundamental of CS when you uh, do all those things. Um, other than that, um, I've been seeing the progress like uh, there have been good apps like links and the sports feed app that are being built. And that gives you uh, experience on how you could do the same thing when you join big tech. 
so here in big tech we work with uh, trillions of rows of data and uh, there's everything that's going on so if you have some experience already uh, it's easier for you to understand the scale of things that you might be experiencing um yeah that's it i wish all of you best of luck to for your inductions and i hope it's a great learning experience the induction itself is amazing over to you thank you ashit for sharing your experience it was it was really great hearing back from you after a long time and like harshit said uh, spider is like the one club wherein like you can uh, collaborate uh, with with uh, w- among various domains we now have ishika uh, a, a, re- a a fourth year student from triple e department uh, ishika is also a dadwai scholar and uh, she is right now an incoming master student at stanford uh, in the field of computer vision robo- and robotics uh, yeah uh yeah ishika yeah okay moving on to uh, gopal mm-hmm. yeah yeah uh, so what is spiretronics so spiretronics is basically the uh, the hardware uh, domain in spider which uh, works with hardware solutions so what do we do so what we do is that we work in robotics machine learning and electronics and embedded systems we do proper research in all of these three domains not just these three domains uh it is all intertwined and uh you have the what to say you have the freedom to work on everything so talking about robotics the robotics domain at spider comprises of two subdomains so it's it's composed of two domains called solid modeling and control and simulation so in solid modeling what you would do is that you will be designing and building robust uh, mechanical structures for robots and advanced software and manufacturing techniques and you will be doing 3d printing and very interesting stuff like that yeah basically you will be you will be building the parts for every robotic uh, component in control and simulation uh, you will be exploring the control theory developing precise movement algorithms and utilizing simulation tools for optimizing robot performance so tools like ross uh, gazebo and uh, and, uh, and 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 apps like that would be used yeah so our activities include participating in hackathons and presenting innovative ideas at leading robotics conferences such as ICRA IROS uh, and one more uh, these are like the top two conferences in uh, in the robotics domain and uh, and one more thing is that uh, we solve real world problems and contribute to advanced robotics technology and we also participate in something called as uh, yantra which uh, which is like the official iit bombay robotics hackathon where you get to learn uh, about robotics from scratch yeah moving on to next slide uh yeah yeah ishika is here uh yeah thank you ishika for joining us uh uh hi guys um i don't know if they introduced me so i'm ishika from uh, spml domain um spidertronics uh so i think um like what i'd like to say about my experience in spider is that um, ever since i joined i was able to explore anything literally anything i wanted technically so be it like machine learning or uh, robotics or everything every step of the way all the seniors were always supportive and they were very great so this was full i must say so, like i was which was the first thing we did and uh, really helpful because we were able to ideate uh, win a competition and also with the same project we were to publish conference and even presented it in zurich um so robotics and all the seniors again were very helpful and um because of that i was able to land a uh, land on like different uh, internships in the same domain and yeah i guess um, i would suggest all of you to talk to all the spider seniors here or the spider seniors in know and talk about literally every single field that you, you might like you know you probably are slightly inclined towards itself so yeah i guess um, that's all i have to say if you have any questions you can also approach me later but yeah talk to your spider seniors thanks yeah so moving on to products products in robotics so uh, what we have is that something called as uh, ugv which is uh, like a transformation transforming bo- robot which can navigate underwater and as well as land so the underwater locomotion is basically inspired from the ray fish fins and it is biomimicking and the ground locomotion is achieved by normal differential uh, drive 
Moving on to the next project. So Bbots, Bbots 3.0. Bbots is a swarm robotics project that aims to explore swarm intelligence and coordination using biologically inspired algorithms. Uh, it focuses on shape, uh, shape information and recovery from obstacles. So have you ever wondered like how birds and ants coordinate with each other and locomote? Yeah, that's pretty much it about this project. Yeah, moving on to next slides. So Homebrew Bionics is a community that explores the possibility of developing open source affordable prosthetic devices that are rap that are rapidly fabricated. So this is to promote the only single soul uh, of uh, this is the only single uh, soul open source research that is being done in prosthetic hardware design, which is easily 3D printable. Yeah, move to the next slide. So Holobot. Holobot is uh, unfortunately due to some issues. The video is not available. Uh, we'll make sure to play the video at the end. So Holobot. Uh, is, uh, is is a project done by Spider in Yantra. So it you should it it basically uses an omnidirectional wheel, which is uh, which is on three sides of the board, which, which is in ground board, which is being balanced, and it is used for artwork. It's it's used to design artwork. Yeah. Next slide. Yeah. So Astro Collect, Astro Collect is basically a uh, uh, a six tof uh, robotic arm, which is used to uh, collect space debris in Earth's orbit using uh, micro patterned adhesive and real time visual surveillance. For precise and safe capture of debris. Next slide. Yeah, I'm handing it over to Pranav. Yeah, so machine learning. Uh, so spider machine learning is like one of the best subdomain in terms of like you know we are we are the only we are we are the best uh, machine learning practitioners on campus. I would like to proudly say that, and uh, we we venture into ideating and innovating novel deep learning architectures. And we love to experiment with state of the art uh, deep learning architectures in the field of uh, computer vision, natural language processing and reinforcement learning. Uh, we believe that uh, every, I mean, uh, we, we believe in infusing intelligence into, into each and every project of ours. And uh, we, we don't restrict ourselves just to, you know, uh, just to the three fields which were mentioned. We also, you know, venture into other other fields such as audio AI and uh, and anything which is cross-functional. And uh, we we collaborate with uh, various domains both within within Tronics as well as with the software people in terms of you know building projects. So we are the most flexible domain when it comes to projects. We can be infused in anything and everywhere. And uh, Apart from this, we, we, we show tre tremendous research potential by trying and going and publishing paper in conferences such as in the world's top topmost machine learning conferences such as NEUR IPS, I, uh, ICLR and CoRL. We, in, we aspire to uh, conceive novel ML solutions in robotics and also as mentioned earlier, Nocane was a pro it, it's a project which is right now under the prototyping stage. So that is a collaboration between uh, machine learning as well as software, uh, so the software domain. So this is something which is very unique to Spider. It's uh, it's it's uh, it's in this particular club wherein like you have a, a cross a cross domain collaboration, which is not quite often seen in other domains. So that is about the machine learning domain. Now let's look at the uh, look at some of the projects undertaken over the last academic year. Uh, so camo site is uh, one of the project uh, it's a it's a it's a it's a novel project in the field of defense and military which aims to you know capture camouflaged enemies uh, ca camouflaged soldiers as you can see it's a uh, we, we detect a camouflaged soldier with the help of machine learning and uh, we 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 do this by using a complex deep learning architecture known as the search and identification net also known as the signet moving on is dark side dark side is again one of its kind a really revolutionary project and, and an out of the box project this this is something which enables us to see perceive through the dark purely by using just vision we don't uh, we do not use anything extra but we just use we use images in the dark and we are able to you know perceive what is exactly there in the dark so this 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 particular project also won the uh, uh, yeah this, this this project was also published as a paper and uh, so that's exactly what these are the kinds of projects which we which we undertake in the uh, spider these are like ex extremely novel ideas and we don't believe in doing the ordinary because that can be done by anyone so we just believe in you know infusing novelty and you know taking uh, yeah thinking of always think of something new and innovative yeah moving on 
Uh, yeah, moving on, this is a very recent project. It's known as the Intelligent Intersection. So in this particular project, uh, what we do is we autonomously control the traffic lights at, at intersections. As you can see, normally they are either con controlled by manual operator or by, by predetermined algorithm. What we, what, we, what we in fact do here is that we control it uh, intelligently using machine learning. We have a computer vision algorithm to keep a track of uh, the, de the density of uh, traffic at each lane. And we have a have a when we utilize the, a multi-agent reinforcement learning algorithm. I'm, I'm I'm sure you might not understand the jargon at this point of time, but yeah, it's basically like uh, this this project was scaled up to a city in the sense that each and every traffic light intersection is interacting with the other traffic light section throughout the city to know of an optimal way to control traffic such that you are you are you're not going to you know you're going to minimize the number of accidents and you're also going to minimize the wait time of vehicles inside of an entire city so as you can see like we don't think of something which is very uh, small scale we try to you know scale all our projects into a real world scenario and this is definitely an example of it yeah moving on we now have the next subdomain uh, of embedded and electronics so this domain consists uh, primarily of two subdomains when it comes to the induction uh, so the first domain deals with embedded and internet of things that is iot in this subdomain and even the induction task, uh, most of the task consists of working with the Ar Arduino and other micro microcontrollers. Throughout the induction process, you will become familiar with embedded C and your induction tasks are expected to be completed using the same. That is, the tech stack used will be embedded C. And you, we have another subdomain, it's known as electronics. And in this track, uh, they will you, we cover both analog as well as digital electronics, introducing you to many essential concepts of electronics along the way. This track doesn't involve much of coding and inductions on this track cover both analog and digital electronics as said before. And once you actually, you know, join the club, uh, there, there, there are other subdomains which are internally within the club, such as uh, VLSI. We, as, as we said earlier, we do not restrict ourselves into anything. We try exploring everything that is new. And we also do have, uh, do have people pursuing VLSI within the club. Which is a staple in the which is staple in the electronics industry and also will help you irrespective of whether you are sitting for placement or for hires. Yeah. Over to Gokul. Yeah. So RSV is a very novel project. This project aims at developing an RTL design of a microprocessor code that can support RASV instructor set architecture. So what it basically does is that we are building a microprocessor from scratch for our own use. And this microprocessor is a very basic thing, which can be further uh, customized and further extensions can be added to it. And it has different applications such as IoT, embedded system, and machine learning. Go on to the next slide. Yeah, so talking about achievements in Tronix. So we came in the global rank top 30 at CityLearn Reinforcement Learning uh, Challenge, which, which was conducted by NeurIPS in 2022. NeurIPS, if you don't know about NeurIPS, it's fine. Europe is one of the top ML conferences. is is the best ML conferences among research people. Yeah. So and in and uh, I'm moving on to next uh, achievement. The second runner. Uh, the second runner up uh, in hardware. We are the second runner up in the hardware domain. Transfer Night 2020. 26 hour uh, tech challenge, uh, which took place in NTD. So uh, I'm adding it over to Pranav to talk over the rest of the achievements. Yeah, and uh, they they also won the first place in Schlumberger's New Year Hackathon, which was con concluded just right in 2023. And uh, the same in LLT EduTech Hackathon, we we, uh, we also were able to publish a paper in Emper uh, in the in the in the in the conference EM NLP, which basically stands for Empirical Methods in uh, Natural Language Processing. And as mentioned earlier, we I mean we also got the first place in the software domain. Uh, for transmit and two club teams qualified for smart india hackathon 2022 finals and and uh, also like the we the one team qualified for icpc world finals icpc is basically the olympics of coding and the olympics of competitive programming it's the most prestigious competitive programming contest in the entire world and we have one team which has qualified directly for the world finals which will be representing india uh, yeah they'll be representing the country in the world finals which is a matter of pride and we are really happy that uh, spider is able to you know contribute to something like this and yeah moving on so 
So now we'll be uh, looking at a few of the testimonials from the Tronics uh, alumni. alumni. Moving to the next thing. Yeah, so Centur. Uh, so Centur is a very, uh, uh, is, is, is the, was a Tronics uh, core uh, back in 2022. So he's from NTT Prod and he is a research engineer at UMIT. Yeah, so 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 he's from uh, he's from UMIT. She's a research engineer. So now we will be showing you the testimonial of Sentu. This video, so hopefully everything goes well. Um, yeah, I'm Sentu. I'm a research engineer here at the Neurobionics Lab at the University of Michigan in Robotics. And this is my experience with Spiritronics, my my journey, and hopefully this inspires you guys to join the Spiritronics injections. I applied to Spiritronics injections during my second year, being inspired by a few of my seniors who are working with Microsoft Kinect and robotic wheelchairs and stuff. So after getting inducted, we got to work on like various research projects and also organizing workshops, which was also fun. And during my third year, we had this opportunity publishing our research paper at ICRA. For people who are not familiar with ICRA, ICRA is one of the best robotic conferences out there. Maybe IROS comes close. That was really cool. And that was an awesome experience. And I think it helped me a lot with like, conducting independent research because that project was um, entirely student led, but a little to no like, you know, faculty involvement, which was really awesome. And after that, I wanted to do something impactful. And we started this project called Homebrew Bionics, which is about open source 3D printed prosthetic devices. And that's how I um, came across the open source leg, which is the um, open source prosthetic knee and ankle, um, which is developed by Professor Elliot Klaus at the Neurobionics Lab. And I emailed him, um, I, you know, telling him about how this is a really cool project, but this still costs $26,000, which is a considerable chunk of money. And I proposed a few like design changes to make it like more affordable. And he was really cool. Um, he wanted me to like do a summer internship here, and that's how I started. And after like six, seven months, I became a research engineer. I'm not going to talk too much about the open source lake project, but if you guys are interested in the project and joining its community, uh, head over to www.opensourcelake.com, which is a really fun project. But back to Spiritronics and where you should apply to Spiritronics. So I think Spiritronics in my career at least helped me with conducting independent research, which is a really, really cool experience and a skill that a lot of people don't talk about. And second thing would be um, being able to solve problems and think fast because um, the stuff that we work with are mostly hobby electronics at Spiritronics, so things te tend to not work, break, or like something happens, so you gotta be really fast and you know, get the job done as fast as possible. And the third thing would be this community of people um, that have been with Spiritronics and your peers, just being with being with these 14 people working on like various projects or Plegion or something, and heading to CCD around 2 a.m., having a coffee, and then coming back and like getting your work done, which is really cool. And I've certainly made a lot of memories that is still treasure. I'm really excited about what you guys are going to do. And hopefully, you guys apply to Spiritronics Inductions and get inducted, and we can have like a lot of chats in the future. Welcome to the next session of Spiritronics. So, yeah, I got interned at Active Instruments, also on a PC. And the main reason I can say is like because of Spider, the project I did in my second year, and also the extremely helpful changes who motivated me and also guided me thoroughly to get into So, like, uh, what I feel is like there is something in Spider or other technical apps with it, it sets, sets you apart from those who aren't part of Spider. Like, you can actually clearly see the difference because you know something of, if you see something from Megan from Pop or something funny. You can just see, like, uh, you get an intuition way of what it is and how it is done. Is it coming to machine learning or embedded electronics or anything? I was part of embedded electronics. But you get an overall idea of what is what. Also, okay, from the software side as well, okay, so this is what is happening. This intuition is what you get from Friday. Like, apart from that, you get really good technical skills and also really good friends as well. Like, one of the, uh, the 
He said, I am hanging out with some friends right now, mainly because of that. So I said, club, no, as well as a technical thing, like, we are actually, like, what to say, it actually transforms you from what? Not being in, in the part of club to being so, so really good. So, yeah, I saw, see you in the inductions. Thank you. That was a cool testimony. Uh, yeah, we'll get into Trainet. What's Trainet? Trainet is Spider's annual flagship hackathon. So we collaborate with NIT uh, Suratkal and NIT Varanga. So here I got to collaborate with other college people from Suratkal and Varanga, as I said earlier. And also we, de we develop our managerial skills by uh, Organizing, we had around 5,000 uh, participants, but not wrong. So we handed everybody, and also they had cash prices and other stuff. So we also assist their submission, or also we ideated projects, we designed, and we did all stuff in the training. It was a great experience for us. Apart from Trinity, we conduct so many workshops and contests within our college, outside our college as well. So the one of the notable ones are like we conducted workshops for first years, which is the Spider Week, which which was a week long, and we had so many workshops like cybersecurity, blockchain, APIs, and much more. Yeah, these are the other we don't just do a uh, so workshop from software we also uh, hardware also does uh, events and workshops to address knowledge of the college people and also it can be worked. we also conduct so many algos contests within our college the main flagship events are algo cup and then code venture which is a part of pratyan Getting back to your induction process, your induction registration site will be out in a few days. Induction, uh, we have to start registering for the induction on 21st. So from 21st to first week of June, you'll be having your pre-induction challenge. That will give you a boost in your induction process. So make use of that period. And from first week of June, you'll be having your uh, first phase till uh, till your end steps. so that will be the first phase so we'll, we'll be giving you time we'll uh, not uh, put you give you any task during your end steps. and then after your end steps, you'll be having second phase uh, then after the uh, second phase you'll be having often CD hand on and uh, uh, CTFs on campus, then you'll be having your at the end will be related to social security. Do you wanna add anything? Yeah, nothing one, nothing much. Uh yeah, so as said by like both of the seniors as well as you know, like whatever what I would like to say is like even if you feel like you have not done anything in your respective field. Don't get intimidated by seeing the number of fields. In fact, like uh, the the induction have been designed in a way that uh, you know it's more about you having uh, it's about the learning curve in this entire process. I mean, it's more more than the result of the induction. What matters is like how much uh, how much potential have you how much you know effort you have put in this entire process because that's what matters. Uh, it's it, it, it's not about you know. Oh man, this person knows this particular tech stack, so he will get into the club, and I would not. Uh, what what matters more than that is like we see that from one task to the other, how much of a learning curve have you undergone through? Because I mean, honestly speaking, let me tell you my story of induction. Uh, I wasn't able to solve the first task uh, during my induction. Then I had my end sem, and after the end sem, I was encouraged to do the second task. I solved that, and then I was called for a PI. So, so if at all at any point of time, let's say you haven't done a task or whatever, 
that shouldn't discourage you from uh, the process you should you should continue going with the process and you know try out the rest of the task and that is something which we highly encourage you all to do so don't give up during the induction and if at all if at all there is something you are always assigned mentors or you can reach out to any one of us uh, regarding any other doubts regarding the uh, and now i think we'll we'll throw the house open to question answers you can ask us anything you want in the comments Anything? So we can see a message or comment saying, "Can I be in both Spider and Delta?" So I don't think that's a need for you to be in both the clubs because Spider is. A jack of all trades, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, uh, adding on to what Santosh has said, uh, it's not possible for you to be a part of uh, both Spider and Delta because uh, there's a there's a huge amount of workload involved in both the clubs. And at, so, at at the given point of time, let's say you're interested in both. Uh, I mean, uh, you can't be a part of both of them, no matter how much you're interested in both of them. You can choose only one at the end of the day. uh so it very it it boils down to like uh, like uh, your interest as to which club you would like to choose out of this process and uh, regarding like why you should choose spider uh, i mean if if you are someone who likes to you know uh, explore various other domains of technology and wants cross domain interaction then you should choose spider and uh, yeah so so that is that is about it uh, at the end of the day uh, we are no one to you know force a choice upon you it's about uh, if if at all you've made it through both of them it's uh, basically you having to you know yeah abhijit asks like what are the prerequisites uh, prerequisites for robotics actually uh, yeah so if you're coming for the induction uh, we don't expect you to know a lot because we all were like beginners uh, maybe you sh i mean the, the least we expect is like you should have a uh, knowledge of you know a basic uh, mathematics taught in 11th and 12th grade that's the that's the fundamental for robotics and uh, you should also you should be someone who's willing to learn and uh, if you are familiar with python that's a huge plus point uh, but if you are not also you can, you, you will be uh, and if you are able to you, you should be able to learn it throughout the process yeah there's there's no actual prerequisite uh, for you yeah i hope it answered your question abhi Uh, so to answer your question, Jack. So how does uh, Spiretronics uh, become? Uh, how do we distinguish between Spiretronics and RMI? So RMI works on pure robotics physics, whereas uh, Spiretronics works on robotics as well. But we do have individual domain projects. Like as uh, you would have seen, there was an uh, from scratch uh, microcontroller project. We had uh, ML projects in Tronics, which involves a little bit of robotics and stuff. That's pretty much it. Yeah. And also like. Uh... Spider is a research and development club. Uh, as compared, like RMI, as you've asked, uh, is as you've rightfully asked, is is it is a is a robotics club, and uh, they do great work in the field of robotics. Uh, but Spider as a whole, like the 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 vision of Spider is more about being as a research and development club. And uh, what we do over here is like we we undertake research in various domains. Uh, in the field of machine learning and also in the field of electronics we are we undertake research in the field of uh, vlsi system and uh, one of the biggest advantage of being in a club like spider is that you also have cross domain interaction with, in the sense like as you can see like harshit uh, harshit agarwal our, our senior uh, as he said like he was someone who 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 was a part of spider algos but at the same point of time he worked uh, he worked closely with hardware so in the sense like uh, uh, that is that is like the 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 difference if you see uh, starkly and overall we are we are we are more of a research perspective and we try innovating and you know having novelties into our projects and uh, and 
try going beyond projects into publications. Uh, so that is uh, what is the difference. I hope that answers your question. Yeah. And also and, to answer the question, can I choose Spider and Delta? I suggest you to concentrate on the process more than getting into the club. So that learning will help you out even after getting into the club or yeah, that will be more useful. And also uh, go through both the clubs handle, compare both, uh, make your decision worse. That's my solution. So yeah, so Ashireka asks, so is it possible for me to apply to both Spider and ML uh, domain and a domain in Spider software like Algo? Is it uh, feasible to manage both for someone being a beginner in both? Yeah, in terms of uh, yeah, in terms of induction, yes, you are free to apply for uh, for one domain in each of them, uh, and you are free to try out everything. But like after a point of time, like even uh, it depends upon how well you will be able to manage the workload. It's it's, a, it's completely a I mean, the second part of the question, is it feasible to manage both for someone being a beginner in both? That's a question I honestly think only you can answer to yourself because it varies from person to person. Okay. So it, uh, it, it varies completely on the individual's capacity. That being said, let's say you apply into both and you get into, uh, get inducted into both. You have, you have, you have a, you have a correct, you have a choice of, you know, being a part of both the domains inside the club, as long as you're able to make valuable contributions to both of the domains. And if at any point of time you feel that uh, stuff is getting too hectic, you can always consult your seniors, and uh, we are here uh, to you know suggest you the best. So to see like uh, it is possible for you to apply for both of them, and it's also feasible for you to manage both. Is what I believe. Yeah, I hope it answers your question. How will the task in robotics be like? Can you give an idea of what it will be based on calculations or designing a robot or creating a robot? Uh, Gokul, uh, can you answer this question, please? So your question, uh, there, is, there are two subdomains within uh, robotics. So one is solid modeling and the other is uh, simulation and control. So if you are picking up solid modeling, it will be more about designing the robots and doing the math part for physics and stuff like that. And if you are choosing the control and simulation part, you will be doing tasks like PAD controller, ROS tasks, and stuff like that. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, will we be getting the resources needed for our induction prep? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we will be uploading the research, uh, sorry, the, the resources uh, needed for the induction prep right on the website. So yeah, definitely uh, do check them out. And uh, you'll also be allocated mentors. Uh, so in case you need any additional resources, you can always con consult them during the process. Yeah. And also there's a site uh, called, I can share it in the comments. Yeah, yeah, we'll so share the comment, so you can check that link. We'll be uh, uh, getting resources for various students. Yeah, so to answer your question, Jack, so how does uh, so RMA and DC also does research nowadays? But how we stand apart is that DC does uh, the same uh, project is related to mechanical research, and RMA does robotic research projects, and they have very less publications when compared to Spider. And Spider, in general, talking about, uh, we have software and hardware. Doesn't mean that when you come into hardware, you just you just do hardware projects or you just do software projects. Uh, and within hardware, you have a lot of disciplinaries. So where these stand out is that we do interdisciplinary projects in software, hardware, and within software. It's something like you have a bunch of nodes on nodes of subdomains, and it's, and it is up to you for uh, and it is up to you to connect all the uh, nodes of the graph and do your project. That's how we say we stand apart from RMI and DC. Guys, if you have any more questions, please do feel free to ask. We are uh, we'll be over here for quite a few minutes, so it's, this is your time to ask. In robotic controls, what will be the prerequisite specifically? As I said earlier, also there are 
no prerequisites in general you just need to know basic math of 11th and 12th grade for the control domain yes a bit of python is something which you are expected to know uh, because you your task would be asked of you in python the rest of it the resources will be provided to you that and so i hope that answers your question abhijit what will be the prerequisite for machine learning okay so the prerequisite for machine learning is pretty much the same as robotics in the sense like you must know uh, i mean python is something which is a prerequisite because uh, that's where that that's the default language for all of machine learning and uh, you must uh, know you must have a basic idea of what is taught in your 11th and 12th grade the the specific topics of matrices and uh, calculus especially differential calculus should you should be able to mathematically interpret what a derivative is and i think that uh, uh, these courses are also taught to you in your first year uh, that linear algebra course and also the linear algebra and uh, vector calculus course so these are uh, these are more than sufficient for you to get started in the machine learning domain uh, because your your entire first few tasks will be based only on uh, differential calculus and matrix algebra so that's how it is going to be uh, yeah so i hope that pretty much answers your question if you know anything more than this it's always a plus point but yeah this is this is the bare minimum uh, which is expected yeah any other questions Okay, Barney Chandra Prabhu asks, like, does Spider work on IoT? Yes, Spider does work on IoT. Uh, we do have a dedicated, uh, I mean, we, we, inside the embedded and electronic system, we do have uh, an IoT section. Uh, so we we do undertake projects on IoT, and also not only just IoT. And uh, most of the projects done by IoT, the, you also have an involvement from the web development as well as the machine learning. Uh, uh, subdomains we did have an iot project in the previous edition which ha which was an involvement of all the domains uh, and it also won the recal uh, healthathon uh, last year yeah is spider is spider only work with react native in appdev i think uh, santosh uh, you can take this one so, uh, we also work on shutter and other uh, cross platform technologies Now just react native. We have existing projects yeah, in Flutter as well. So it's up to you to choose the tech stack which you'll be using uh, in your induction process. Uh, preferably choose a cross-platform uh, technology. I think that answers your question. Is everything depend on Python language? Uh, okay, wait. Okay, fine. Devan Devanshu Sharma asks, twelfth class matrix or first year? Okay, I mean, I think first year math is like a pretty much a uh, an extension of that. If you know the first year math, that's cool. Uh, if even if you don't know, they still have time to learn it. Uh, but yeah, if you uh, the concepts such as eigen vectors, eigen values, and these are like something which are which play a very key role in machine learning. So if you are familiar with those concepts, that's great. But however, for starting off, just knowing what a matrix looks like is sufficient. And and so I think so that in that way, what I mean is like twelfth class matrix is more than enough for you to get started. So that I hope that answers your question. Does everything depend on the py Python language? uh it depends upon which sub subdomain you're asking uh so i mean uh, for robotics and uh, for robotics and machine learning yes we do uh, we do start off in python but again you see like it's totally fine even if you don't know python uh, it's a prerequisite as what we said earlier but it's it's totally fine if you don't know the induction process has been designed in such a way that you will you will also be able to learn a programming language and then you know go on to you know do the rest of the math and everything so, so if at all you still don't know python that's okay and regarding other subdomains like if you see uh, 
the, uh, the like the the embedded domain they work in, on embedded c so even if you don't know python that's okay so i hope that answers your question yeah so with respect to all these language questions what i would say is that spider induction starts from scratch it only uh, asks you for very minimal requirement so spider induction should be something like a cake of it will become from it will become from uh, what to say uh, easy medium and then hard task. so you will have a very good experience in induction process so we want the next question yeah uh, what programming language do we use in algo c uh, so one thing which i would like to tell you is that uh, while usually you go to any competitive programmer they would say that they'll start in c++ or something but that doesn't matter actually in in algo's induction what what is all seen is about how you are able to formulate an algo that is your thought process so it doesn't matter whichever language you code in when i was during the induction i coded in python uh, so it, does, it it honestly doesn't matter which language you are using as long as you are able to put your thoughts into logic uh, yeah your logic into code it it honestly doesn't matter so if you are com comfortable with any other programming language you can just use it so that shouldn't be an issue can we yeah i i just answered that question when i was uh, during my induction i did use python uh, yeah how do inter domain projects work okay so how it happens is like uh, there is initially as there is a stage of uh, ideation of a project so what we do is like let's say you 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 thought about a project uh, or yeah you usually the birth of a project happens by as you know seeing any hackathon or you know having any upcoming conference so there was this one particular hackathon happening last year uh, it was uh, it was conducted by the narcotics control bureau of india so what happened was like we just saw the we, we saw the problem statement it was related related to dark uh, the the crawling of dark web and also it recognizing and flagging illegal sites so that's when we realized that for crawling of dark web that's where you have a uh, web development uh, and you know yeah development people you know coming into the play but when we saw that you have to autonomously recognize uh, if a site is illegal or not so that's when like you, you 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 automatically begin to think that this is an angle of machine learning so and how does this thought process get built up is within the club we do have a lot of cases which are open to everyone so in the sense like even though you are a part of some other subdomain you you definitely have an you you definitely have a, an idea about what every other subdomain does so when you look at a problem statement you can definitely know if this one can be solved by using machine learning can this be solved by iot so that is how inter domain projects work uh, you'll get to know more about it when you actually join the club it's something which i cannot put in words uh, but yeah it's an amazing feeling you know uh, working on Domain yeah, so Spider is a very really rich community of research and developers. So we constantly interact with each other and talk with each other. So from doing that, we are able to come up with new ideas in data domain projects. That's how it works. Basically, put it in a nutshell. Yeah. Cool. So moving on to the next question. Uh, is the resources in the link enough? Uh, okay. It will give I mean, you a foundation for things to build on top of. So we'll be adding more resources to it. So, yeah. Okay. One last question. Okay. When will be the registration? It'll uh, it'll happen in around uh, two by around a few days. You should be able to register on the portal, and uh, stay tuned on our social media uh, on our, on our socials for you know for more yeah for proper information. Uh, guys, that's pretty much it for the Q and A session. Uh, I guess uh, bye bye. We'll be ending the all the questions now. Questions. Yeah, all the best for your inductions. Please do uh, register for the inductions. Yeah. yeah. Yeah.